Good morning, chickens. All right, so play a little catch up today. Well, as you see, where everything's kind of at, been kind of busy the last little while. Which, by the way, them chickens have tore my dag on mint slap at the frame but what they've been eating it down to the ground even the basil for some reason though they don't really mess with my oregano or the rosemary so uh i'm sure there's a bunch of crazies look at them they get that mint and they tear it out the frame surprised i don't end up with many eggs garden's coming along good I'm quite happy with which I've been harvesting radishes left and right Rich is gonna be extremely satisfied with the radishes she's got a a drawer full in there so she should be fine muscadine vines blowing out pretty good which I should have it over there to the to the birdhouse by the end of this season I would just about bet on ducks are doing great you can't believe how big these ducks are getting check these ducks out those pecans are getting really really big they've outgrown mocha and cleaning the uh, cleaning the duck pool out which is kind of a pain in the butt but that water that I just been chunking come to find out makes a pretty good fertilizer for your garden so instead of just chunking that stuff on the ground I've been using that joker to fertilize the plants and this really helped out but the other thing I gotta do this morning I'm gonna get the uh, the uh, baby chicks out so that uh, let them get some more face time with the with the others so in the next couple of weeks, I can, I hear your mouthpiece. I can uh, integrate them into the, to the flock with the big girls. So let's get them out and get them set. You may be wondering why uh, why you keep them baby chicks in their little pen right now. And truthfully, the bigger chickens, these other chickens, they will peck those daggone little babies to death. They'll torment them. They'll have them bleeding, and then the rest of them will attack them. So you got to keep them separated until they get big enough to defend themselves. Of course, then they'll all have to reestablish a pecking order. That's coming too. So you got to get them big enough to where they can defend themselves. So that's why I got to keep them separated over in here until I can get them big enough to, to do that. But like I said, I'll keep them out here and give them in that pen there. 
They have face to face time with the ducks, the chickens. And they can kind of uh kind of get used to each other. And then baby chickens, they're just they're not old enough or smart enough yet to realize that they'll get killed out here with these bigger chickens. But all the chickens and ducks uh, doing good. Like I said, those ducks are getting huge. And I'm actually getting benefit out of their, their pool now. So instead of just filling out water and dumping it every two days, I'm actually getting to utilize it as a, as a fertilizer tea which works out pretty well. I ain't got any complaints about it now. It was just monotonous and a pain in the butt to clean your pools out, but I didn't want them swimming in nasty, nasty water. So, uh, like I said, the garden's doing well. Everything's coming up. I can't believe the actual, the beans right now are uh, really coming up. They're actually blooming now. Tomato bushes have got blooms on them, which I'm kind of shocked at. But they do already. I don't know why, but they do. Here they are. Tomato plants looking good. Peppers are looking good. Corn's coming up nicely. It should be coming out pretty soon. I can see some blank spots, though. I'm going to have to... I'm definitely going to have to go back in and probably here in the next week or two and where some of it, I guess, didn't germinate. So, uh, I got to get it filled up, but everything's looking good. Taking y'all have tore that daggone mint slap out the frame now. That thing, I'm telling y'all, that mint was slapped full. I mean, overflowing yesterday. And as you can see, they have cleaned that mint slap out. Good Lord. Like I said, my oregano and my rosemary are still doing good. And the oregano should kind of spread for me and do it as long as the chickens will leave it alone. The men, I don't really care too much about. I mean, I like the smell that it and the basil kind of put out, but we just don't use a lot of mint. But I do love the smell out here during the summertime. It's uh, it's really nice. Look what dummies are doing now. They haven't figured out, can't get in there, so I'll stand up here and pick off of it. Get down from there, go. Get down, get down, get down. Idiots. See what I had to do with my blueberry? Is I had to hem it up so they couldn't get to it because they had picked it clean and it was finally coming back out. Go on. Get. Go on, chicken. Go on. Go on. Scoot. Go on. Go on. Get on. So I reckon I'm going to have to put some over the top of it. I mean, they are, they've been, they tore my blueberry bush down to nothing. I mean, absolutely nothing. Crazy chickens. <sighs> Look at them. Tearing that man up. They still going at it. So if anybody was looking for, uh, fresh mint this year and you ask me why I don't have any that should give you the reason why the uh, blackberry has already got blackberries coming out on it now the raspberry doesn't it doesn't have anything at all going on yet but my tomatoes are looking pretty good like I said you can see where they've got some blooms on them and uh, here come the ducks all, all of them's kind of there's mocha out there by herself here's the other ducks 
There's Mokel way out there by ourselves. I don't know if y'all can see, it, see that or not, but that's Mokel way out there. And here's all the ducks. I guess they're coming up for a visit. Everything else looking good, though. I'm kind of glad cucumbers are coming up. Oh man, look at that grass growing right up below that thing. Hang on. Look at that. Yeah, my cucumbers are looking good. Everything else is coming up nicely. Now, here's a lemon tree that they had tore out the frame last year. And I pretty much thought had died, so I fenced it in with the with the garden. And now that thing's coming out nice. I mean, really nice. It's just uh, it's just a matter of keeping them chickens away from it. Look at there, sitting over there. There's the ducks. Some of them peacons ain't pretty. Here comes Mocha behind the bunch. See, there's Mocha there. She'll straighten them out. Now, all them ducks doing nicely. Good and healthy. Healthy ducks. Yeah. Funny thing about the ducks is they got where they don't really mind uh, coming up to you anymore. They, uh, They'll come right up to you now. I don't know what's changed Mocha. I guess it's them other ducks just kind of got her into it. So that's worked out all right. All right, here's the pots we got right outside the window. That's that hummingbird feeder. I don't think I've showed y'all that on video yet, but we just decided we wanted to see some hummingbirds outside and stuck it right outside this window. It's below that overhang, so... Of course, the only thing with the hummingbird feeder is we gotta we gotta end up changing our water out like every I don't know three or five days, just because it's sitting in that sun and that water will spoil. So we change it out for the for the hummingbirds. But anywho, I just want to see the queen of the castle. What you doing there, Penelope? Huh? What you been doing? Oh yeah, the uh, other one I was going to show you was right outside the kitchen window. I went ahead and put Risha some some herbs to cook with. Well, that way, she wants herbs and spices. She can just uh, open a window and cut what she needs and cook with it. The other thing was, I don't remember how many eggs we had going, but literally, that's the eggs that we have right now. And those chickens are steady, steady laying. And all of those eggs are gone. They've already been bought. I can't keep them in the house anymore. They're going faster than then they can lay them. So, uh, which is good for me. I mean, that works out great for me. But anyhow, um, all right, this is what I wanted y'all to look at. <clears throat> I had a question for y'all. The rose bush. This thing needs shaping bad, bad, bad. But as far as how to shape this thing without messing it up or killing it. I have no idea about when to do it, how far up to do it, because I mean, it majorly needs to be, I mean, just cut way back and allowed to grow back out, but I don't really want to mess the rose bush up. It's a couple years old now. I planted this one for Risha, I don't know, probably four or five years ago. Maybe a little longer than that now, I don't remember. But, um, Got any ideas on when and how to shape this rose bush back up? Put in the comments below and let me know. Alright, here's another oddball thing. 
Which, by the way, we've got we got bamboo and all that grows in here kind of separates that other section from our uh, area. But look at the bamboo. It's just out here in the middle of nowhere by itself. Nowhere near. Well, it's close to the other bamboo, but I wish I could show you the distance. There we go. See the distance that bamboos come out from that? It's just crazy bamboo. Which, mind you, I like the bamboo. That's pretty cool. Huh. New growth on the top. That thing's still growing. I don't know how tall that thing's going to get. Alright. So, this was short, sweet, to the point today. Um, just want to get give y'all a quick catch up. Because there's really not anything major going on right now. Um, if you got any questions about what we're doing or anything put it in the comments below thank you for watching god bless all of you and i hope you have a good day see you on the next one